No. It's impossible. My little song lark must never do that again. The song lark must have a pure voice to sing with, never false notes. Papa didn't give us a thing. It was I who procured the money. You? That you saw? 4,800 kroner. The trip was supposed to save my husband's life. I couldn't give it up. But didn't you consider that it was a fraud against me? That was not a consideration for me. And then in addition to tell me a lie, a lie didn't I... you say that no one had been here? This could never, never be true. really surprising about this play, and I think especially about Maureen's translation, is that it's very relevant today, and I think that audiences will find that a lot of these themes are very um, specific to change over time, so it's um, things that carry on, they're universal, they're always going to be, you know, there's always going to be issues over, um, you know, societal roles and what people are expected to do and what they're supposed to do versus what they actually want to do. So I think that Marquette students would find that this play is still very real, even though it was written a very long time ago. A Dollhouse is about a woman named Nora, and she lives essentially the quintessential late 1800s life. She has this perfect husband and three perfect children and a beautiful home and her husband's up for promotion and everything's great uh, but what happens is she does get into a bit of trouble financially um, and into kind of a weave of lies that she struggles to uh, kind of unwind herself and you know in that process she has to kind of look very critically at her own life and her own decisions as well so it's a very intricate play it's very cool um, you know the characters are wonderful, everyone seems to enjoy, you know, their own people and it's it's great. It's great. <laughs>